rarely we see crossover from birds into humans with the currently circulating strain of avian influenza that's causing a large outbreak among wild birds and poultry. Uh, we have seen only about 10 or 11 human cases worldwide since um, 2020. The reason why the latest avian influenza outbreak is being watched so carefully is because of the sheer number of birds, both wild and poultry and poultry farms that have been affected during this latest outbreak. There's been almost 60 million poultry affected by this avian influenza outbreak. Wild birds as well. Also, and somewhat concerning, uh, wild mammals. So uh, fox, mink, um, other types of mammals have been infected with this avian influenza strain. There's definitely some concern right now as we're in kind of peak migratory season with birds coming north after the winter that they're going to increasingly come into contact with uh, birds on uh, in private facilities and grounds of those who own birds and that's how transmission occurs. And so when we see cases like that uh, occur, the owners of those farms are having to make really difficult decisions about do we cull the, uh, the, the poultry, the birds on my, on my grounds in my facility to help prevent spread or transmission to other birds. Of course, that has a dramatic impact on our food products and why we've seen prices for eggs increase dramatically over the last few months. The virus is being transmitted from wild birds so geese that are migrating, other birds that are migrating from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere during these spring months may land and interact with birds that are on uh, private grounds, those who own poultry facilities like chickens, hens, other types of birds that are sold for uh, eggs or uh, different types of food products. And so when those wild birds interact with these birds that are on private um, company or private properties, uh, the virus can be transmitted to those uh, poultry. The good news is that we've known about avian influenza for decades. And so there has been prep work done in the event that we see large scale outbreaks in humans. So there are what we call candidate vaccines that the CDC has begun to develop. And I believe that they have already shared those candidate vaccines with some van vaccine manufacturers. There's also some good evidence that the antivirals that we use to treat human strains of influenza are at least somewhat effective in treating the avian influenza strains. So we already have some tools to help us fight against a potential avian influenza outbreak. I think the risk today is low, and that's because when we look at the virus that is infecting birds, it doesn't have the properties yet to efficiently infect humans, and then more importantly, spread from a human to another human, okay? But the reason why we're beginning to pay very close attention is because of the sheer number of birds that have been infected and the fact that we're starting to see infections in some other mammalian species. So that's telling me that the virus is slowly adapting. It's able to infect and potentially be spread from one mammal to another. Uh, and because every time the virus infects either a bird or a mammal, just like COVID, it has the chance to mutate. The more times that occurs, the greater the odds are that there could be a virus that would develop that could efficiently infect a human and then spread from human to human. So will that happen? No one knows, but the important thing is for us to continue to monitor and start to develop the tools that we can test, treat, and prevent avian influenza from causing a pandemic in the human population. If you have 
birds at home, if you have chickens, uh, if you have other types of birds that you keep on your property, if they become ill, contact some state health officials. If they die, don't handle the dead carcass. What we're seeing is that individuals who have become infected with this strain of avian influenza have typically acquired the infection by handling a sick or dead bird. So those are two important steps. Uh, contact state officials, health officials, if you see uh, respiratory illness or disease among the birds and don't handle dead birds.